Well, it's really hard to say, Francis, because um, we've been here camping outside here for a number of hours. The meeting started around lunchtime. It finished a short while ago. In fact, uh, the minister and the parties are very sensitive about keeping the media at bay as far away from these talks as possible. We were chased out of the building at first, told to leave the building. We hung around outside and then before uh, the parties uh, were about to leave, the security came out and chased us away from the building so that they could live in peace. At this point, we really don't know what transpired at the meeting, Francis. Were you able to see uh, who was attending? Uh, was the minister him himself there? Who from the, the different sides? Well, what we know is, um, or what we've heard from our sources is, uh, of course, the minister is in charge, he's hands-on, he's actually chairing these talks. Um, and then, of course, there would have been his uh, interministerial task team members there, AMCU, the producers. But interestingly today, for the first time, advocate Dalim uh, who we understand has been advising AMCU on these negotiations with the employers uh, informally, was actually in attendance today. But also another familiar face uh, to many people since Marikana, the bishop advocates, uh, Bishop Sioka was also in attendance, we are told. Uh, but fortunately, to shed more light on what happened, I'm joined right now by the minister's spokesperson, that's advocate Matlodi Muofe himself. Uh, Mr. Muofe, thank you very much for joining us. First of all, people out there are dying to know what happened at the meeting. How did the meeting go today? Um, the meeting went well. Minister Ramatsodi is quite satisfied with what transpired in that meeting. Um, and uh, we are looking forward. This is work in progress. We hope that uh, within a reasonable period, uh, the matter will be put to bed. Talking about that, is there further meetings or talks scheduled uh, for tomorrow or the day after? Well, this is work in progress, really, you know, and uh, the minister basically does not spend his time on any, on any other thing other than this one. So it is very difficult to say whether there will be a meeting tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Safe to say that uh, the minister is keen to ensure that this matter comes to its finality soon. Now, of course, we know that following on last week's uh, meeting where the minister tabled with his interministerial task team tabled a proposed settlement package uh, which the parties had to go and scrutinize over the weekend they gave him feedback yesterday hence he called them back to the table to go through uh, or sort out whatever issues they would have raised today so is that uh, what is still being uh, tackled at this point the sticking issues is that the parties would have raised about the minister's settlement pa package at our workshop last week, we agreed on how we're going to take this matter forward as work in progress. So it is basically what we have agreed on last week, uh, that we will be working in this way. So there isn't anything shocking in what has transpired just now. We are basically working on what uh, we have agreed on last week. Does the minister still following today's meeting? Or would you say that um, the minister is satisfied that the promise that he has made to the South African people that uh, he will see to it that uh, he secures uh, an end to the strike as soon as possible? Does it still stand with that? Well, the fact that uh, uh, the president of uh, AMCO, uh, Joseph Matunja, came with his collective leadership and negotiators, and by the way, all parties, even business, uh, they when they meet with the minister, CEOs, do that. So we believe, and the minister believes, that uh, people are into these talks in good faith. The outcome of which we all hope that will be positive for all and sundry, because we really want to get back to work, we want to be a productive country, so that our national development plan can be achieved. Lastly, uh, Mr. Maofe, the attendance today of Advocate Dalimbofu and <coughs> Bishop Sioka. What's the significance of this? Is this the minister broadening the, the participation, involving as many stakeholders as possible to make sure that uh, we get a resolution to this? Uh, remember that the minister does not determine who the president of AMCO or the leadership of AMCO brings. 
That is their prerogative, really, as long as there is progress in, 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 in whatever meetings that uh, take place. Mr. Maofe, I thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Well, Francis, that was uh, the minister's spokesperson. You heard it from uh, himself. It's still very much work in, pro in progress, but uh, they are confident that the minister um, and the government, they are confident that uh, they are on the right track to actually achieve their goal of seeing an end to the strike as soon as possible. Francis.